Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making shortcut smoky hot wings. Now I'm calling them shortcut because I'm not going old school and frying them and then tossing them into the sauce. We're actually gonna cook these in the oven really hot and really fast and they're crispy, they're flavorful, and oh y'all, this is my favorite way to have hot wings. Now I'm starting with a half of a stick of melted salted butter. Instead of adding the butter at the end and tossing the fried wings in it, we're gonna add the butter at the beginning. And this is gonna help crisp up those wings and give them such a great flavor. Now here are my seasonings. I've got a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of chili, a teaspoon of kosher salt, a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, only because my husband is not a huge fan of garlic. Normally I would add a teaspoon, but I'm meeting him halfway and I'm only gonna add a half. And I've added a tablespoon of brown sugar. That brown sugar is gonna give this so much flavor. And that's going right into my butter. Now, I'm just gonna mix this together and make sure that it's all good and dissolved and nice and smooth. And there we go. We've got a nice smooth paste. And by the way, I'm using dark brown sugar simply because I like the flavor of dark brown and I love the color that it gives these wings. Now, out come the gloves. I've already cut my wings into drumettes and flats, but I'm gonna show you real quick how I do that. You definitely wanna take off this tip. It's only gonna burn. There's hardly any meat on it, so I just discard that. Use them for broth or something. And then I'm gonna take my poultry shears, or you can use a sharp knife, or even a pair of cooking shears, and I'm cutting right through that joint. And I've got my flat and my drumette. Jimmy likes the drumettes better. I like the flats better. So we make a perfect team. Now in goes the wings. And the gloves come in really handy for this. You just wanna toss these wings and coat them in all the sauce. By the time you get finished, there shouldn't be any sauce on the bottom. Your wings should be completely covered. So don't stop until you look down at the bottom and there's nothing left. <laughs> and by the way, one thing that I forgot to mention when I started is that these wings have been washed and patted dry with a paper towel. You don't want to put wet wings in your butter mixture. You're going to have soggy wings. And the whole point is to get them nice and crispy and delicious. And look how this is coming together. Oh, these look beautiful. Now, off come the gloves and out comes my baking sheet. I love cooking these on a really large baking sheet. That way I only have to cook one batch. You can also make these in the air fryer. They're delicious, but when I'm cooking larger batches, I go to the oven because my air fryer is small and I don't wanna cook batch after batch after batch. I want it one and done. Now, on these go, and look, those wings soaked up almost every bit of that delicious butter. Now I'm gonna spread these out on my baking sheet and give them room to cook. And I'm gonna put them skin side up. That way that skin can crisp up right in the very beginning. Everybody has Plenty of room. And by the way, this is a little over three pounds of chicken wings. Now, these are going to cook really fast at a really high temperature. I've got my oven preheated to 425 degrees, and these are going to cook for about 20 minutes. I can hardly wait. Will you look at these gorgeous wings? 
These cooked for 22 minutes. After 20 minutes, I just felt like they needed a couple more minutes. If you've got those super large wings, you may want to cook them just a few minutes more, but these look perfect. Now I'm going to let these rest for just a little bit, cool down, and next I'm going to show you how I plate these up. Now I like serving these just on some paper. I buy rolls of this brown paper. You can also use a brown paper bag. Just tear it apart and put them on there. And this is a great way to serve these wings and help with cleanup. Now you can serve these with any sauce that you like. Let's see, I'm gonna get this one right here. I've just got a little bit of ranch dressing. I love Alabama white sauce with these, buffalo sauce, just whatever you want. Oh, they're hot. Hmm. Let's see how we did. Mmm. These are amazing. They're crispy. They have tons of flavor. Honestly, you don't even need a sauce. These are so good all by themselves. Oh, y'all, it's a good thing Jimmy's on his way home because I could take down every one of these. I'm just sure of it. I hope you'll try this recipe, whether it's for game day or weeknight or just a fun weekend meal. These are perfect and they're definitely a crowd pleaser. You're such a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Will you like this video and share it with your friends? And make sure you're following me at Kathy Southern Kitchen on Facebook, YouTube, and my new website, kathysouthernkitchen.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.